Hello and welcome to my channel and this art adventure questland. Today we are diving into the underwater kingdom and we'll create one of these nice princess, Ariel the Little Mermaid. Every artwork always begins with a raw sketch that I'll refine later. Once we have a sense of how the necessary elements will be arranged or displayed, we can move on to adding details. With approximate contours, we mark the silhouette of the hair as well as its smaller details, as shaped lines are quite handy for this. For constructing the body and other rounded elements, I use circles as a guide. They make it much easier to draw curved lines. There is no need to strive for perfection from the start, as we can always adjust and modify things as needed. To achieve smoother lines, it's good to draw them quickly in one swift motion. One of the tips professional artists use is to flip images horizontally. Then we can look at our artwork from another point of view and we can spot imperfections that we didn't notice before. Once our raw sketch is ready, we can proceed to draw clean lines and details. Drawing for me is an immensely enjoyable process, during which I unwind and immerse myself in a fantastical world far from reality. It's quite rare to get the line just right in a single stroke. That's why I often trace over the same line multiple times, seeking for the best version. For me, drawing is a form of sculpting where you remove unnecessary elements and add the necessary ones, always aiming for the best representation. In this case, I wasn't satisfied with how far apart the eyes were, so I decided to slightly adjust their position, which turned out to be the right choice in the end. Additionally, to make the character look more cartoonish, the eyes should be quite large. During the detailing phase, we clean up the sketch by removing unnecessary auxiliary lines and refining and preserving only the lines we need. When I draw hair, I always strive to depict it dynamically and give it an interesting shape. There is no need to fear making mistakes or attempting to make everything perfect right away. Some flaws in the drawing became apparent only when you look at it with fresh eye after some time. I decided to see how it would look if Ariel's hand took a different position, and I think her playing with her hair adds an interesting touch. While experimenting with her hand, I came up with an idea to incorporate one of her friends into the composition. But first, to bring our idea to life, we will draw another hand.
And now let's quickly sketch her friend Flounder. A few final adjustments and here we have our line art ready for coloring. In our next video we'll be adding colors to this drawing, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. There are plenty more exciting videos coming your way. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in hearing about the drawing process like in this one. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. That's all for today, guys. See you soon and bye-bye!